Hello everyone, I am Karan Jain and I welcome you back on our channel Tabli. Today in this video we will learn how to grow shoe business by using WhatsApp and get more customers for footwear business. Okay, so the idea here is imagine you have recently started a branded footwear store and you have advertised about your store on Facebook. Now every time when a new lead will reach to your advertisement, you have to send them the brochure on WhatsApp. But the problem here is, if you'll follow the manual process, you have to first collect the data of your new lead, then you have to manually type a message at the link of the brochure, and you will finally send it to them on WhatsApp. This process will be very long, which will kill your time unnecessarily. So to save your time, I suggest you to bring some automation here. You want something like, we have advertised about your store on Facebook, okay? Now, whenever a new customer will enter your advertisement, automatically a form will pop up in front of them. As soon as they will fill up the form, on successful form submission, automatically they will receive a WhatsApp message with the link of the brochure. So for that, I have used two applications here. First, I have used Facebook. Uh, we have used this platform to advertise about our uh, business. And secondly, I have used WhatsApp. You know, it's a famous chatting app to send them the message with the link of the brochure. But here, I have to face one more problem. The problem is, there is no direct link or integration between these two applications. So how I have performed the automation? Let me tell you. With the help of Pabli Connect. Now you people will say, what is Pabli Connect? So Pabli Connect is, is an integration and automation software. What it will do, it will help us to link both of these applications together so that every time a new customer will enter your advertisement and they will fill up the form on successful form submission, automatically they will receive a WhatsApp message with the link of the brochure. Amazing, right? Now let me tell you one more amazing fact. To use this software Pabli Connect, you need not to have any technical background. A non-technical person can also use this software very easily. Now let me show you a real-time example on my screen. Okay guys, as you can see on my screen, this is the form. This is how the form will appear in front of the customer when you will run the live ad and they will enter the advertisement. And the idea here is as soon as they will submit the form on successful submission of the form, they will receive a WhatsApp message with the link of the brochure. So I have opened my WhatsApp web page for you. Okay. And as soon as you will submit the form here, automatically we will receive a WhatsApp message here on behalf of our customer. So let's submit the form here. You can see the name of our customer is Tina Manuel. This is the email ID and this is the phone number. Now I'll click on next and I'll click on submit. So guys, we have successfully submitted the form. Now let's go to our WhatsApp web page and wait for four or five seconds and automatically you will see a message will arrive here. Okay guys, you can see a message has just arrived for Tina Manuel which says, Hello Tina Manuel, thank you for showing your interest in Sparks. One of our team members will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our shoe store. Link is given to you. For more details, you can visit to our website. Uh, thank you. Regards, Sparks. Okay. Here it is written. Note, please save this number in your contact to make the above link clickable. Right now, this link is a hyperlink. But guys, mostly what happens until you don't save the number, this link doesn't uh, change into hyperlink. So you have to copy the link. Then you have to open a new tab and paste it there. Uh, so don't forget that whenever you will send your uh, customers the uh, message. So you have to add this particular line note to save the number. Now let me click the link and let me show it to you if this link takes us to the correct uh, brochure. Yes guys, you can clearly see this is the particular uh, brochure which I want to send to my customers and we have uh, directly as soon as we have clicked the link we have reached to the brochure. Now you must be thinking how it is possible just by filling up the form the customers have filled up the form and automatically in real time they have received the WhatsApp message. So uh, let me show you the process of integration on my screen guys. Okay guys, before we start with the process, let me tell you three easy steps of integration as you can see on my screen. Step number one says connect Pabli Connect to Facebook lead ads. So what we're gonna do first is, first we'll log in into our Pabli Connect account. Then we will integrate our first application which is Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Why? Because we are running a live advertisement on our Facebook account and the customer will reach to our advertisement and they will fill up the form. So first it is important to uh, integrate Facebook lead ads. Now step number two says collect the data from Facebook lead ads in Pabli Connect. So customers will be filling up the form. I want that same information to get transferred into Pabli Connect. So we, when we will integrate Facebook and 
to properly connect whenever the customer will fill up the form automatically the information of that customer will be transferred into properly connect step number 3 says send the brochure on whatsapp via 360 dialog so in the final step we will be sending the message with the link of the brochure to our uh, customers on whatsapp but guys here's the twist we are not directly integrating whatsapp here instead we are using 360 dialog why because whatsapp does not allow you to send messages directly for that you have to use uh, another software which is official api of whatsapp that is 360 dialog Okay guys, now let's start with the process. Okay guys, so to start with the process, you have to first open your browsers, come to the search engine and here you have to search for Pabli. Type P-A-B-B-L-Y. Remember, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli. Press enter. Wait for a second guys. Okay. Now we have reached to the website page of Pabli. You can see the website page of Pabli on my screen. What you have to do next is click on products and you can see all of the five applications offered by Pabli. Today we are in use of connect. So click on Pabli connect. Okay, now you can see the landing page of Pabli connect on my screen. For the first time users, if you can see a green button at my right corner, which says sign up for free. Guys, you have to click here and you can create your free account, completely free account in just two minutes because I'm already logged in. So I'll click on sign in. Okay. Once again, you can see all of the applications offered by Pabli on my screen. As you know, today we are in use of Pabli Connect. So come here and click on access now. And now we have reached to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. This is how the dashboard of Pabli Connect looks. Now we have to create a new workflow here. So for that, you have to come to your right corner where a blue button is given to you, which says create new workflow. Click here and a mini box will emerge in front of you, which will ask you to name your workflow. So let's name our workflow. Uh, let's say the name of my workflow is Facebook. To whatsapp okay i've given the name to my workflow as the name of the applications i'm integrating today you can name it uh, name the workflow accordingly okay now i'll click on create okay uh, as you can see we have reached to the uh, workflow now here we have to perform the steps of integration you can see the name of the title i mean the title name which i have given to my workflow here on the top now, before we start, let me share one important information with you. Uh, the workflow which we are creating today, this present workflow, I'll add the link of the same workflow in my description box. So you can click on the link and you can directly clone the same workflow into your Pabli Connect account, free Pabli Connect account. So don't worry. Uh, I mean, uh, don't forget to go and check the link. Okay. Uh, and uh, let me first tell you what is trigger and what is action let's read out first here then we will start with the steps here it is written trigger when this happens choose your first application trigger action do this choose your next application action now the trigger event and the action event let me tell you what are these trigger event in this particular case will be form submission by the customer by the new lead they will be seeing your advertisement on facebook they will be entering the advertisement and they will fill up the form so this is the trigger event and as soon as they will fill up the form what we want we want automatically a whatsapp message should be sent to them with the link of the brochure so this is the action event so you understood trigger event is happening of an event and action is the response to it now let's start with the steps so we have to integrate our first application which is facebook lead ad so for that you have to click on your first application come to the search field and here you have to search for facebook lead ads as you can see on my screen i'll click this now a new field of trigger event has emerged in front of you if we'll click this arrow you can see the trigger event i want to choose this particular trigger event new lead i'll choose this and now i'll click on connect okay a mini window will emerge in front of you asking for two options add new connection and selecting selects existing connection so i'll click on add new connection and now i'll click on connect with facebook lead ads Okay, as you can see on my screen, I have been successfully authorized in. Now we have to fill up two required fields. The first field is page and the second field is uh, lead generation form. So it is asking on which uh, page you have to uh, um, 
run the live advertisement or you have run the live advertisement so let me take you to my account on facebook and let me show you the particular page which i have created for this workflow okay guys here you can see on my screen this is my facebook account now if you'll come to the left corner where some options are given among that you have to search for pages click here and you can see all of the pages which i have created which are there in my facebook account now let me show you the particular page which i have created for my workflow for my current workflow so let me scroll down and let me search the page just hold on with me for a second and uh, we can find the page okay okay so here's the page shoe store i'll click this let me enter it for you okay so this is the particular page okay now uh, i want to map this page in my pabli connect account so what i'll do uh, let me show it to you let me take you back to my pabli connect account okay so this is uh, we are back to our public connect account now where, where it is written pages come to the pages click this arrow and a scroll down will appear in front of you now here in the scroll down you can see all of the pages all of the pages which are there in my facebook account can be seen here as it is now we i have uh, told you i want to map this particular shoe store so i'll map this and automatically the form which is attached with this page will appear here you can see okay now click on save and now what we have to do we have to fill up the form on behalf of the customer so that all the information of that customer can be captured here in public connect but guys before that let me tell you we haven't run any live advertisement on our facebook account so i cannot show you how the customer will reach to the form uh, from your facebook account but uh, here's the twist uh, facebook uh, provides another website which is facebook for developers for testing examples okay so i can show you there how the form will appear in front of the customer let, let me take you to the site to the facebook developers website so you can see on my screen this is how the form will appear in front of the customer you can see the website name facebook for developers now we will fill up the form and uh, i want this data which we will fill up on behalf of our customer should be captured in our public connect account so let's say our uh, customer's name is sam john email id is sam triple zero at the rate gmail.com and now mobile number is okay this is the mobile number now i'll click on next and i'll submit the form so we have successfully submitted the form now let me take you back to my pabli connect account okay come here and click on save and send test request and you can see the responses has been captured here successfully you can see the same responses the name of our customer email id and the number has been uh, captured here successfully so it shows that we have successfully done our first step which uh, which is uh, integration of facebook lead ads with public connect now we will jump to our next and final step which is integration of 360 dialog uh, to send uh, the whatsapp message to our customer why once again guys why we are integrating 360 dialog here instead of whatsapp because whatsapp whatsapp does not allow you to send messages directly for that you have to use another software which is official api of whatsapp that is 360 dialog so click on your next application come to the search field and here you have to search for 360 dialog as you can see on my screen i'll click this and a new field of action event will emerge in front of you now if you'll click this arrow you can see the various action event i want to choose this particular action event which is send template message i'll choose this and now i'll click on connect a mini window will emerge in front of you asking for two options add new connection and select existing connection so i'll click on add new connection and now guys it is asking us for two fields to fill up the first field it is asking for the api key and second is the domain so first let's read the description what it is written so that we can understand from where we have to find the api key here it is written enter api key here you can create api key in your 360 dialog account log into your 360 dialog account move to whatsapp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate api key button and in the domain it is written enter the domain here which you will get while generating the api key example waba.360dialog.io okay 
guys always read the instructions this is very important why i am telling you this because whenever you will read the uh, instructions or description which are, which are given below you can understand what we have to do next the next step what we have to take okay now let me take you to my account on 360 dialog first and let me show it to you from where you can find the api key as you can see on my screen this is my account on 360 dialog now if you are in doubt how i have reached to my account on 360 dialog or how i have uh, created my account on 360 dialog so for that we have created a different video and i have added the link of that video in my description box so you can go and click on the link and uh, see the video and guys i have added one more link uh, in my description box now if you'll go through that link you can avail the services of this particular application 360 dialog at very affordable price guys instead of the usual price they charge so don't forget to go and check both of the links now let me tell you from where you can find the api key come to your left corner here you can see three options are given to you click on whatsapp accounts come to your right corner below you can see a blue button is given to you which says generate api key now guys listen to this very carefully you have to click this button and your api key will be generated along with the domain now this process of generating api key is a one-time process so you don't have to do it again and again once you will generate your api key and the domain by clicking here or uh, you can use the same api key and the domain for different workflows i'm telling you again and again guys this is a one-time process you need not to generate your api key again and again just click here once your api key and the domain will be generated and the same api key you can use for different workflow now when the api key and the domain will be generated what you have to do is you have to copy the api key go to your public connect account paste it here then copy the domain go to public connect account and paste it here now click on save and you will be automatically authorized back into your workflow now guys because of some security reason i cannot show you this process and as i have already told you this is a one-time process so i have already generated my api key and the domain what i will do i will copy both of the fields go to my public connect account and i'll paste it here accordingly and i'll click on save and uh, authorized i'll be uh, automatically authorized back to my workflow so guys uh, let me complete this process this is a very simple process and we will directly meet in our workflow okay guys as you can see on my screen i have been successfully authorized in back to my workflow now we have to fill up the required field the first field is asking us for the template so let me show you uh, what is template first let me take you back to my account on 360 dialog now besides generate api key it is written show details click here and you can see three options at your top click on templates now you can see all of the template which I have created uh, for different workflow. Now let me show you the particular template which I have created for this uh, workflow for our current workflow. So you can see the name of my template is sent brochure final. Let me open it for you. And uh, you can see guys here uh, template is nothing but just the body of SMS which will be sent to our uh, customers. Let me read it out for you. Hello one. Thank you for showing your interest in two. One of our team members will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our 3, link 4. For more details, you can visit to our website 5. Note, please save this number in your contact to make the above link clickable. Thank you. Regards, 6. Now, you people must be thinking what are these numbers in double boxes and why the, uh, this is, these are given here. So, let me tell you these numbers are nothing but they are just the variables which will be keep changing according to the uh, information of our customer. For example, if in body field 1, I'll write the name of our customer, you, you will see automatically this uh, number will change to its original value. Let me show it to you here as soon as i have written sam john in body field one you can see the number has changed to its value same goes with body field two three four five six now these are the variables it is not compulsory to keep any numbers of variable but uh, whenever you will create your template you can keep the variables according to your wish according to the template which you have created now this is just for an example i have shown it to you let me show it to you how you can create the template if you'll go up at the top you can see a uh, uh, option for add template is given to you a blue button is given to you you have to click this and the format of template will appear in front of you now you can give a name 
to your template here you can select the particular language in which language you want the body of sms and finally you will uh, type the body of sms here now uh, one more important information guys after you will create the template you have to click on preview and submit and the template your template which you have created will be sent for approval now it is a very important process when you will send your uh, template for approval the approval process will take uh, two hours to two days if i'll tell you in general the approval process will be done within a day and the approval process will be done by facebook now without the approval process you cannot use your template guys this is very important so please remember whenever you will create the template you will uh, click on preview and submit you will send it for approval the approval process will be done by facebook and the approval process will take from two hours to two days if i'll tell you in general the approval process will be done within one day okay now uh, let me map this particular template send brochure final in my public connect account how uh, come to the template section click on the arrow now in the scroll down you can see all of the templates which are there in my uh, uh, in my 360 dialog account let me search for the particular template and let me click on it so that i can map the template here in public connect account let me search for the template here it is send brochure final i'll simply click on that and that template will be mapped automatically here now you don't have to do anything with these two fields namespace and uh, language code these fields will be automatically be filled up okay now in the language code it is written en en stands for english guys en is the code for english if i'll go back to my 360 account here under the language section you can see it is written en 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 so this shows that all our uh, templates are in the english language because uh, en is the code for english so these two fields will be automatically be filled up now come to your next field which is recipient mobile number okay so we have to map the recipient mobile number but before that let me tell you what is mapping of data if you'll click on the field the scroll down will appear in front of you if you'll click on the scroll down you can see all of the responses which are there which we have captured above in public connect okay here you can see now the same responses can be seen here in the scroll down now this option of mapping data is given to you because whenever you are required to fill up the value in the required field you need not to go up again and again search for the value copy it come down and paste it here instead you can uh, uh, click on the field go to the scroll down search for the value it is asking for the number so i'll simply click on the number and the value will be mapped now the body fields have started i have told you how the body fields work they are the variables which will be uh, keep changing according to the information of our customer so in body field one in front of it example is given heather ali so it shows that we have to map the name of our customer here how click on the field go to the scroll down search for the value name of our customer sam john simply click here and it will be mapped uh, automatically now in body field 2 it is written in the example public connect so here we have to write the name of our store shoe store let's say the name is sparks okay sparks now in body field 3 in the example it is given software so here we have to write the product what we are providing we are providing shoes and we write store here okay now in body field 4 it is asking us for the link okay now here we have to map the link of the brochure which we want to send to our customer so i have uploaded the pdf file in my pd uh, in my google drive account let me show it to you so this is my google drive account and here you can see it is written shoe catalog so this is the particular uh, file which i want to send to my customer here you can see this is the catalog i'll be sending to my customer now i want the link of this pdf file what i'll do i'll come to the right corner i'll click on this three button where it is written more options then i'll click on share okay let it load for a second now here it is written get link but uh, uh, first read out what it is written here restricted only people added can open with this link so i'll click on change to anyone with this link and view this uh, pdf file and now i'll copy the link i'll go back to my public connect account and simply i'll paste it here simple guys now in body field 5 it is asking us for the website name so let's uh, write the website name okay this is just for an example i'm showing it to you that's why i'm entering uh, uh, any random name here okay now again in the body field 6 it is asking us for the uh, name which is sparks okay 
so here you can see we have uh, uh, successfully filled all of the details which uh, which were asked here in the fields okay now what we will do we will click on save and send test request and we will see what are the responses if the customer have received the whatsapp message or not let it load for a second guys yes guys you can clearly see our uh, responses are positive it is showing stable as there is no error it is shown now let me take you to the whatsapp uh, uh, whatsapp web page uh, i have opened it for you and let me show it to you if the customer has received any message there or not okay guys this is my whatsapp web page and you can clearly see a message for sam john has just arrived which says hello sam john thank you for showing your interest in sparks one of our team member will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our shoe stores uh, shoes shoe store link is given to you for more details you can visit our website uh, note please save this number in your contact to make the above link clickable okay right now this link is clickable clickable but uh, uh, majority times when you will save the number then only you can uh, make this link a hyperlink so don't forget that uh, whenever you want to send to the customer the uh, brochure the body of sms you please uh, add this note that whenever they will save the number then only this link will be clickable okay so now let me show you if uh, this link takes us to the correct brochure which we want to send to our uh, customer yes guys i have shown you this was the particular brochure which i want to send to my customers and as soon as we have clicked on the link automatically the brochure has uh, opened now uh, you have seen how perfectly the integration has worked let me take you back to my pably connect account first okay guys now let me show it to you what we have done one more time in a nutshell so first we have integrated facebook lead ads with pably connect because we have run a live advertisement in our facebook account the customer will be reaching to our advertisement and they will be filling up the form as soon as they will fill up the form i want the details should be transferred into pably connect okay then we have integrated uh, 360 dialogue with the uh, pably connect instead of whatsapp okay because whatsapp does not allow you to send messages directly uh to send the messages uh, to our customer on whatsapp it is important to integrate 360 dialogue so it is it was a simple uh, workflow of uh, two steps only only two steps so guys uh, one more time let me tell you i'll add the link of this workflow in my description box so you can go visit the link and you can directly clone the same workflow into your free public connect account don't forget to go and check the link guys Hello guys, before you leave, let me tell you not only just these applications, but you can integrate tons of other applications by using Pably Connect. If you want to contact us, this is our email ID, admin at the rate pably.com. If you have any further queries, you can always visit to this website. And guys, if you really liked our video, please don't forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button. It will really keep us boosted and we will keep providing you such videos. Thank you.